Yo lloré muchísimo el último día. The actress who played Tokyo had such an emotionally intense time filming, she suffered serious physical pain as a result. Money Heist itself is an intense series, so it's no surprise the experience on set for the actors would be just as wild. From not knowing what would happen to their characters more than two episodes ahead to filming in three different countries, the stellar crew managed to successfully bring a remarkable final season to life. The actors wearing the signature red jumpsuits felt like they were wearing skin, and it was a pretty moving experience for both the actors and their characters. The suit is highly symbolic, as a representation of what the gang means. For the Stockholm actress, Esther Acebo, the jumpsuit represented courage and struggle for Monica. Within the world of Money Heist, the suit was a symbol of their work and all that it took to earn a place in the gang. Creo que es ponerse a currar. Putting on the jumpsuit was a major help in getting the actors into character and ready to tell the story as well. Ahora estoy dentro. Ahora sí estoy dentro. Manila actor Belen Cuesta felt the symbolic suit was like an adventure. 600 of the suits were actually used throughout the series and really became an icon for the show. Entonces, iba así, en la piel, ya, ¿no? The fifth season had loads of prep and promo to do, so while some days they were filming, other days it was all about photo shoots and getting the marketing materials up to par. This is no small task, since while taking the photos, the actors made a total mess of the set and often wound up breaking props in the process. The people who cleaned everything up had a pretty major task in front of them by the end of it all. Estos son los culpables de todo. De que esto no esté limpio, ordenado. Pedro Alonso, also known as Berlin, made his way into the marketing shoot for the series only to wreak a bit of havoc. The actor mostly ran around interrupting the whole thing, but the crew was so close that fooling around was all right every now and then when they got to see each other. Although, Alonso definitely did enjoy breaking the rules in this case. Though we're not too sure the crew would have appreciated him breaking a chair on set. The fifth season is being divided into two volumes, being released a few months apart. The reason for this was that the writers felt they needed to create a divide in order to properly wrap up the series. Many of the fans of the show have been deeply affected by the first four seasons. Considering how wild and dramatic the series is, it doesn't come as much of a surprise. That being said, the first volume of the fifth season tops them all, and the professor and Berlin actors felt like it would affect the emotional stability of viewers, since the first part of the final season is so loaded with battle. The second volume pulls back on the fiery action and focuses on the emotional journey of the characters, making sure to take the proper time to wrap up their stories in the series. The show was able to take its time in doing the final season justice, since there were 10 episodes to work with rather than the typical 8 per season. The final series wound up coming to us a bit later than anticipated as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Going through the realities of living in such a difficult time affected how quickly the series was able to be written, and going through the day-to-day -day was a real struggle, just delaying the whole process. Once on the set, it meant there was plenty of testing and masks galore. But fortunately, they all still got to hug it out in the end. Corta. Ursula, aka Tokyo in Money Heist, had quite the emotional time filming the final season of the show. The actress cried when filming every single one of her scenes for season 5. The emotion was so intense, she actually felt physical pain in her stomach. He trabajado muchísimo mi paciencia. It's no surprise her reaction was so powerful, since the series itself changed her career and her character became a major part of her life. Alvaro Morte, or as we know him, the professor, wasn't too sad when the series came to an end, since originally the show was only going to have two seasons. As the second season came to a close, the actor went through preparing to let go of the role back then. So, it's been a bit easier to let go of this time around. With his unique relationship to the show and role, Morte was able to really enjoy getting to have a second chance at the role, and just appreciated that the journey got to continue. Actress Belenquesta found herself in a similar situation, deeply appreciating the moments she was working and recognizing how special certain scenes were. She was constantly reminding herself to be grateful for the whole experience as she said farewell to the show. 
The production company might be called Vancouver Media, but the series was actually filmed in various spots in Europe. The final season was filmed in Denmark, Portugal, and of course, the place where it all happens. Spain. The capital Madrid was where most of the filming actually took place. Actors in series don't always get all their scripts at once, but often they will have some idea as to what would happen with their character's storyline. However, the actors of Money Heist didn't actually get that much insight. The actors only ever knew what would happen to their characters two episodes ahead. This meant the writers got to make adjustments to the scripts as filming went along, allowing the series to really flow and have a wild feel to it. The team was often writing right up until the very last minute. An awful lot of time is spent in and around the Bank of Spain, but the actual building never makes an appearance in the series. The crew wasn't even allowed to go to the Bank of Spain to get references to remake the set, so they went with their imaginations to create the interior we see, which was a fully built set in a studio. As for the outside shots we see, the building we're actually looking at is the Spanish National Research Council, since the Royal Mint of Spain wouldn't give the go-ahead to film any exterior shots there. Carlos Diaz has been responsible for the costumes throughout the series. The variety of the styles and energies of the characters offered Diaz a really rich experience, since he got to explore very individual looks for the different actors, as well as then bringing them all together again with the signature red jumpsuit. Ponerme el mono rojo, supone muchas cosas. The reason the cast members are all nicknamed after cities is, of course, to help keep their identities unknown when they're in action. However, the fact that they were named after cities specifically was inspired by someone's t-shirt on set. The shirt had Tokyo written on it, and after contemplating different options, including planets, the team felt like it was a sign and it wound up being the perfect tool to help mislead anyone onto the characters in the show as well. Netflix is actually making a money heist immersive experience in locations around the world. The team is casting actors to perform live shows that would begin launching in 2021. These productions would offer fans and people new to the show the chance to be part of the robbery story experience, since once a ticket is purchased, the audience member becomes part of the family and story. As for spin-offs, the plan was to wait until after the final season wrapped and premiered before committing to anything else, but the idea is definitely being considered by multiple people involved. Money Heist has certainly been a ride and became a totally unexpected success. The passion the cast and crew had, everyone from the directors, actors, costume designers to the creator, is admirable and a definite component of what made the series so special. We're definitely eager to experience the heisting up close and personal with the immersive experience.